Oh, yes. I have one other thing about the way in which nature spirits translate um, information from one person to another person. Um, and the way I've noticed it is when there's like a uh, discord, when there's mild discord, say peevishness or unhappiness or something like that going on. And, and they know that there's a communication going on between two people on the astral plane. Now, the, the mission of the nature spirits in this, I mean, there are all kinds of nature spirits, but these particular nature spirits have a mission to create harmony amongst humankind, okay? So, so what do they do is when, um, when I think, for instance, I, I might think, I've had enough of this conversation, you know, like that. I'm signing off. But the translation on the other end, because of the other person's emotional state, um, can be very, very different from that. It can often ratchet up quite a bit in intensity. And it, it can include, if it's a man, it can very often include a lot of swear words and a lot of sexual uh, connotations and so forth. And, and frequently it includes the notion, it switches around from the notion, I don't want to be bothered sexually, I might say. And yet, on the other end, what the man might hear is, I would like to, to have intercourse with you. And, and, and it won't be stated like that either. It'll be stated in, in the terms that the lowest, um, um, for me, a very um, graphic, It'll be stated in terms that is commonplace amongst men working together, apparently, okay? But hardly the terms that they would use when they speak to women. So when the man hears this misinterpretation um, through the nature, nature spirit realm, he thinks one thing about, about the woman that's talking, all right? which is based on, on the notion that the nature spirits have that the thing that he hears will make him happy. It's a mistake for him to think that the thing that he hears is the thing that the woman says, and vice versa. So the only way to truly know what, uh, what another person is saying is to talk to them either on the phone or in person that's the only real way to know the most you can get from um, uh, an upset uh, 4d conversation is the the emotion that the other person feels and if it's the more it goes into the negative realm the emotions go into the negative realm the more the demon world comes in and the less and less truth of any kind there is in the conversation. So that's just a heads up about 4D, which is a long way from being 3D. And so I, my, I'd like to encourage everybody to, to spend as much time in 3D as possible while we're getting the hang of the fourth dimension in the astral world and actually being in having one foot in each world, just so that we, we, we have a firm understanding of actually where we are physically and, and who our, our friends really are and what they really act like, okay? Because a lot of times what we access on 4D is, is the repressed emotions, the things that people would never really say to each other. And, and the reason for that is very simple. We are freeing, um, we are freeing the repressed emotions uh, say fear of death, that's one of them, and a desire to kill, that came up in 2013, and then in 2014 it was sexual repression of all kinds, especially the kind where injury is done to someone else, or um, the unacceptable, for, the most unacceptable forms of, of sexual expression. And now we have 2015, did I get that right? 2014 was sexual. And now we have 2015, and it appears what we're facing is the issue 
of empowerment and power over and free will and um, suppressed drive to uh, an uh, unconscious mechanism of um, um, kind of a hypnotic mechanism, um, mind control mechanism that's taking place mostly between men and women but also between alpha males and males who don't consider themselves to be alpha, okay? Um, so. So, all right, you all, take care of yourselves. It should be an interesting ride this year. I hear there's plenty of acceleration going on right now from Sandra Walter and um, things coming up for the equinoxes this year and, and who knows what all else. So, take care. Love you lots.